Hello and welcome back to your uh, 15th Django tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go back and fix tutorial series. Uh, it's really bugging me after the previous tutorial where I told you how much I hate when a database is hit more than once via a uh, view. Now, there's sometimes we won't be able to avoid that, but if we're going to avoid it, I'm going to avoid it at all costs. So let's go back and learn how to avoid hit, double tapping our uh, database because it is one of the things that really bothered me so let's get back to views.py all right um let's just delete this here uh we're gonna write a new view i mean we could just edit that one but let's go ahead and write a new one you guys get some practice uh we got a tutorial series detail view class here um yeah we don't need that we don't want that all right, we're going to create a function um, to define, um, what do I want to call this? What did we call it? <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, um, we're going to try to breeze through this real quick. Tutorial series detail. We're going to call it tutorial series detail. So tutorial underscore series underscore detail. Now, if I didn't mention this before, uh, functions should be like um, use underscores and not camel case, and classes should use camel case. All right. uh, so the first thing we need is request. That's always uh, how we handle the request. And then uh, the next one we need is slug. All right, because we in our URLs we take a slug argument. All right. So now what we want to do is go ahead and get our tutorial series objects from our model, I should say. So we'll do series. We'll call this variable series. And we'll get object 404. Then we're going to do tutorial series like this. Um, and then we're going to have to filter. Because I want to filter uh, the slug at this level. We could... You know, we, yeah. I'll show you two different ways to write it. We can do objects dot filter and then slug is equal to slug, or we could have just went tutorial series comma slug is equal to slug. All right, uh, that's probably a cleaner way to write it. And then the next thing we want to do is um, try to. Right now we're hitting the database once, okay? We're going to the database and we're getting the objects for the uh, tutorial series model, all right? And the object that has the slug that's coming from our U URL variable or argument uh, to match that. All right, cool. Um, that works. But how are we going to get lessons? Down here, let's take a look at our models. All right, so down... Let's take a look at this one first, lesson detail. So we'll look at our lesson. And I wish I could put them next to each other, but it's not going to work. So uh, we get our lesson object, and we filter on tutorial series underscore slug, and we get tutorial series um, up here, right? So we get that model because we have a foreign key down here, all right? So we're able to get the tutorial series model in that fashion. Now, if we look at tutorial series and we look, we do not have a lesson foreign key. We don't have lesson access to that model at all. So how are we only going to tap the database once? Well, I am going to show you. What we're going to do is do lessons as our variable. And then we're going to say series. All right. So we're getting this um, object up here, series. And then we're going to do lesson underscore set. And what this does is get the related um, objects that are related to this object. All right. And then we're going to do filter, oops, filter, and then tutorial series is equal to series. All right, so before we go any further, let's talk about what lesson underscore set is. And what lesson underscore set is, is it um, 
uh, a basically it has access to a manager that handles queries from um, views to the database, if you will. Uh, and basically, uh, once we hit the database, we're able to access uh, multiple instances. All right of uh, related information through the manager all right so lesson underscore set says hey go to the manager and we want to find um, the re related lesson so this is our model gotta be lowercase lesson and then this is saying hey lesson or go to set manager and access that uh, model if they're related in any which way which they are because now we have a reverse relationship um or a relationship that goes backwards okay so we're able to access that now we could get rid of the lesson set if we went into the models and we gave this one right here related name like this and we gave it a name of god i don't know uh series if we call it called it series like that then we could just go well that's not going to work either because we're going to have series series so that wouldn't work um why don't you just say tutorial series that's not going to work <laughs> ah why can't i think of a name uh tutorials all right so we'll just say it's tutorials and then we go in here and we could just say tutorials all right um that's for related name if you want to use related name but we didn't set that up so i'm just going to take that out for now uh maybe down the road we'll do something like that but for now we're just going to pull that out and we'll just go with lesson set all right now let's go ahead and finish this up lesson underscore set so lesson the underscore set in a query allows us to do a backwards relationship that's you know what you should think of um and then lesson is just the model that we want to hit, and it's got to be lowercase, okay? And then we'll just come down and do our uh, normal template is equal to, and we'll do tutorials, uh, backslash tutorial, uh, series, underscore, detail, uh, dot HTML. And then we'll do context. Set this equal to uh, two. Now we have two parameters. Series. Series. And lessons. Lessons. There we go. And don't forget our return. Render. Request. So return. Return. Yeah, I'm having trouble spelling. Render request template and context all right now one last thing we need to do is we need to go in our urls here and change this view so this is going to be um what do we call it tutorial series detail all right and we'll take out as view off the end here that all looks good. And if we go to open our tutorial series detail and call this uh, change these objects, because first off, we don't want to use objects series, series, series. And then down here, that all looks good. Let's go ahead and throw our URL in here. Um, this URL will allow us to go to the lessons detail. So let's go ahead and do a uh, a URL and then uh, what do we call tutorials colon oh, tutorials and a lesson underscore detail and then close out that string and now we got to provide our two parameters which are uh, lesson dot I'm trying to remember what I called it without looking. Uh, so we got to get tutorial series. So tutorial series underscore our tutorial 
be easier if I just looked on tutorial underscore series dot slug and then uh, slug I don't know lesson dot slug lesson dot slug all right so we got our first parameter uh, let's close this out before I forget and can't figure out why this isn't working so close out with your percent and your curly brace and a um, quote so we got our first uh, parameter for our URL. If you remember, we had tutorial series, so we need a parameter for that. And and we have lesson.slug. That's our second parameter right here. And now if we go and run it, hopefully we have no errors. Oh, it looks right. I'm probably going to have to restart. I oh, know we go. Just being slow. Go ahead and take off the last slug here on uh, your browser that we were using in the previous tutorial. Hit back and hit return. There we got our, t our title, our content, and down at the bottom we have our little uh, link. If we click on it, we should go back to where we were. Boom. There we go. All right, so what did we learn in this tutorial? I hope we learned a lot because we had a class here, uh, class view, all right, which in my opinion is pretty ugly and hard to read and for beginning programmers, hard to understand. Uh, so what we did was we created a new function and let's make this pep8 uh, compliant here. So two two returns. Uh, so we created a new function and we got tutorial underscore series underscore detail and our request and slug. So the request would be the incoming request from the user and then the slug would be a parameter from the URL. Then we go through and we create a variable. It's going to hold our new object. We're going to get object or 404 tutorial series and then comma and then our slug to uh, get the specific object that we're looking for via the slug. The slug must match that. And then once we got that object, we're going to go back and we're not going to hit the database again, but we're going to say, hey, uh, we want the um, related um, uh, objects. So we're going to say lesson underscore set, and then we're going to filter it, and we're going to get tutorial series is equal to series. So uh, our tutorial series in our model, which is here, must be the same as the tutorial series that we accessed up here. So we're only hitting the database once here. We're only hitting the database once here. So uh, you guys are probably like, well, what's the big deal? The computers are pretty fast. Servers are pretty fast. Databases are pretty fast. When you build a massive Django site and you have tons of visitors nailing your da database daily uh it starts to show and uh one of the projects i worked on recently it was annoying watching how slow the site got when we started getting a lot of traffic and and that really got me into the mindset of hey we need to start uh programming efficiently here for the servers and the databases so that's why i am uh, now making sure I do that for all projects just to get in the habit of doing it. So there we go. Uh, we got it set up. Everything looks like it's running. Uh, if you guys have got any questions, leave a comment on YouTube. Otherwise, uh, we'll keep moving forward and try to get this done as quick as possible because that's what I want to do. See ya.